Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of conics, where we are dealing with the concept of ellipse in today's question. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic of ellipse, we have been told that the length of lattice rectum is 4 and for the ellipse which is given to us as x square plus 4y square plus 2x plus 8y minus lambda equal to 0. So this is your general equation of ellipse. And for this same ellipse we have been told that length of lattice rectum is 4. Further we have been told small l is the length of major axis of the ellipse. And we have been asked to find the value of lambda plus k in this case. And if I talk about the options which are given to me, the options are for second option 16, third option 59, the last option given to me is 75. So we need to figure out which one of the options is the correct answer for this value of lambda plus l. So let's use the idea and find the value of lambda. So if I just have my general equation again, x squared plus 4y square plus 2x plus 8y minus lambda equal to 0. If I try to solve this further, I get this idea up here to me. x square plus 2x, to convert it into a perfect square, if I add the third term, so third term is half into coefficient of x the whole square. So I'm using the idea of third term. That is half into coefficient of x the whole square. So 1 square, you get that as 1. So I'm adding 1 here. So in, on the right hand side also I have to add 1. For the second also if I try to make it a perfect square, I make 4 common. So you get again y square plus 2y. Again when you have the same term as x square plus 2x as y square plus 2y, again you are adding 1. But when you are adding 1, 4 is taken common. So basically you are adding 4. So I'll add 4 on the right hand side as well. Minus lambda. So you get this entire equation of the ellipse turning out to be x square plus 2x plus 1. I can write that as x plus 1 the whole square. 4 times y plus 1 the whole square is equal to. This becomes 5. This becomes lambda. So it becomes lambda plus 5. So further, if I try to write this, I get x plus 1 the whole square upon lambda plus 5 plus 4 y plus 1 the whole square upon lambda plus 5 is equal to 1. So if I try to convert my equation of ellipse in your general form, then let's write that down. So x plus 1 the whole square upon root of lambda plus 5 the whole square plus y plus 1 the whole square upon root of lambda plus 5 upon 2 the whole square is equal to 1. So if I compare this entire equation with my general form that is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. So you get a square or you get a as root of lambda plus 5 and you get b as root of lambda plus 5. So if you have this understanding, now let's find out. Once you have a and b, you have been told that length of lattice rectum is 4. So if I use that idea, we know length of lattice rectum is given by 2b square by a for the ellipse of this form. So 2b square by a is equal to 4. So b square by a is equal to 2. If I put the value of b square, we know b is root of lambda plus 5 upon 2. So b square becomes lambda plus 5 upon 2. A in this case I get that as root of lambda plus 5 is equal to. So from this expansion I get this as root of lambda plus 5 upon 4 is equal to 2. That gives me lambda plus 5 in the root is equal to 8. So lambda plus 5 becomes 8 squared that is 64 and that gives us the value as 64 minus 5 that is 
So we get the value of lambda as 59. We have got the value of lambda. Now let's find the value of L that is length of major axis. We already know the idea. Length of major axis of the ellipse for the general form of x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So length of the major axis is this. That is a and this distance is also a because coordinates are minus a comma 0 and a comma 0. So your length of major axis basically becomes 2a and we have been given length of major axis is 2a that if I apply 2 times a is root of lambda plus 5 we already know the value of lambda that is 59 plus 5. So 59 plus 5 is 64 root of 64 is 8. So you get the length of major axis as 16. If I try to find the answer for the question that is asked to me, lambda plus L. So if I try to find lambda plus L, that is 59 plus 16, which is 75. So I get the answer for the question given to us here. That is 75. If you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option D. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of ellipse. So we had our equation of ellipse. We converted that equation of ellipse by making the perfect squares and converting it into our general form x squared by e squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1. With that, we got a and b. Once we got a and b, we just used the idea of length of lattice rectum being 4 to get me the value of lambda as 59. And then we use the idea of length of major axis, that is 2a. That was given to us as L, that becomes 16. So we get L as 16. Then we just figured out the value of lambda plus L that matches with option D, that is 17. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the ideas on ellipse. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means as well as level 10. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE means. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a daily basis. Thank you.